Wanderlei Silva, the legend of MMA, uncompromising and destructive. These are just a few words that describe the Brazilian fighter. His fighting style revolutionized the perception of what a true warrior can be. Fiery, fearless, and relentless, he gained popularity through his knockouts, which have become legendary moments in the history of the sport. Not many fighters have their unique style that serves as a benchmark for others. Few are spoken about as often as the axe murderer. You won't find many who fight in the wild style of Muay Thai like he did. It's fury and danger in every strike. You can't let him get too close. He'll unleash everything on you. Attacking him is risky because in an instant, he'll start striking back without even defending himself and the enthusiasm with which he utilizes his legs when targeting opponents' heads is truly a bloody art. His fighting spirit and determination always propelled him to new heights, delivering us epic knockouts. This video is a journey into the world of Wanderlei Silva and his finishes. We'll delve into the incredible record-breaking path of the fighter, witness his awe-inspiring victories, and remember his incredible contribution to the world of MMA. You're watching Sport Legends Channel. Let's go! The first fight features a Brazilian fighter under the pride banner at the Final Conflict 2004 tournament against Yuki Kondo. Just one look at Silva is enough to make you never want to step into the ring with him in your lifetime. The fighters waste no time and immediately go at it. Kadi, no love approves of such an approach. Crazy Dog easily controls the situation, dominating Kondo in every face-to-face -face encounter. And even though Wanderlei often finds himself in a defensive position near the ropes, his strikes are more accurate and consistently devastating. Although this fight is clearly not about technique and precision, it's about who will outslug whom. And it's better not to play such games with the Brazilian. Yuki Kondo holds up fairly well in their clash, setting the tone for a prolonged battle. After an initially active minute, the second minute slows down. Wanderlei throws a right hook, after which Yuki starts to retreat, but he can't get far. He takes one hit after another until he ends up on the ground, and that's where the axe murderer usually shows no mercy and employs his trademark stomps. It's brutal and effective, leading to victory for the Brazilian, no chance for the opponent. The next showdown is against Ole Ironhead Kazuyuki Fujita, who enters the fight with a record of 13-4, making him a dangerous opponent. It all begins during the stare-down. Moments like these in Silva's fights are not to be missed by anyone. The fight starts, and here comes a moment. Fujita attempts to seize an opportunity to attack. He lunges forward from his knee, but fails to maintain his balance, which Wanderlei immediately takes advantage of. Miraculously, the Japanese fighter survives after taking several headshots. A grappling exchange saves him as he can hide his head, clenching his opponent. The axe murderer rests on the ropes, prompting the referee to bring the fighters back to the ring. In the grappling exchanges, the Brazilian attempts a joint lock on the arm, but Kazuyuki defends himself. The fight continues on the ground, with no one having a clear advantage. They tire each other out evenly. With the Japanese fighter on top, he appears to be the greater threat. However, there are still five minutes left in the first round, and the referee brings the fighters back to their feet. In this bout, Wanderlei Silva is unusually calm and less active, but when he sees an opportunity to strike, his hits are precise. He struggles to connect his opponent's head with his leg, as Fujita defends himself effectively. Fujita attempts a back fist, but both fighters are already fatigued. However, in moments when Silva decides to explode and press forward, he inflicts significant damage on his bigger adversary. The climax of all this chaos essentially occurs in the final minute of the duel. Well-executed attacks from Crazy Dog couldn't go without consequences. With double strikes, he drops Ol Ironhead to the ground, initiating a barrage of strikes. No matter how long and desperately Fujita tries to defend against the knockout, the punches and soccer kicks do their job. Now, let's go back to a retro moment, the 20th edition of the UFC tournament, a tournament where Boz Rutten and Kevin Randleman battled it out. For our present-day hero, it was a more modest tournament and a more modest opponent. 
Tony Petara. It's always a pleasure to witness such activity and energy, especially when fighters can turn even the clinch into a spectacular show. Tony probably didn't have high hopes, so he spent the entire fight simply pressing the Brazilian against the cage. Silva, in this position, was left with knee strikes, which he actively delivered. It was these strikes that brought him the victory. Shot after shot, they took the life out of Petara until he was completely eliminated as a gift to himself. Wanderlei performs a knee dance. After such fights, one can immediately call for the next opponent to step into the ring. Let's dive into the year 2002 to the Pride 23 Championship Chaos 2 tournament. The fight between Wanderlei Silva and Hiromitsu Kanehara took place. It was a middleweight title defense, so the stakes were high. Hiromitsu immediately launches into the attack, throwing punches one after another. It's a very reckless move on his part, showing a lack of respect for the champion. He nearly gets knocked out by a high kick, but miraculously manages to stay in the fight. He takes some heavy shots while standing, suffers on the ground for a bit, and it's time to get back into the battle again. The champion outclasses him in every aspect. The Japanese fighter keeps falling down, and Silva takes full advantage of it each time. It's as if Silva himself is getting tired of how non-competitive the fight is. It looks like a complete beating of one of the athletes. Wanderlei carves out his victory, quite literally. Several soccer kicks and, of course, stomps to solidify the result. The champion delivered a championship performance, without a doubt. Three months prior, in the same year of 2002, Wanderlei Silva had a non-title fight against Tatsuya Iwasaki. Did this fight end in a spectacular fashion? Absolutely. Silva's opponent, Tatsuya, appears quite calm, perhaps even too calm. It's intriguing but not surprising because surprises come from those who win. Tatsuya hesitates whether to throw a kick or not, and Silva cleverly takes advantage of it. He charges at the Japanese fighter and unleashes a beating. His full range of strikes comes into play. He taunts and toys with Iwasaki just as much as Iwasaki allows him to. Then, seemingly tired of just lying on the ground, Silva quickly gets up to deliver a head kick that leaves no chance of recovery. From there on, it's a display of technique. Another victory with no resistance. But what a pleasure it is to watch the butcher at work. Not often do you hear a fighter referred to as someone who hunts another fighter, but their trilogy from the early 2000s was memorable and one-sided. Wanderlei Silva vs. Kazushi Sakuraba 3 Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you've witnessed this knockout before. It was during the Pride Total Elimination 2003 tournament. This encounter is a delight for those who love the energy in sports. The Brazilian fighter exudes testosterone even through the screens, so you want to watch without taking your eyes off. The fight unfolds with a rhythm of mutual attacks. If someone goes to meet the other, there will be a clash. Pray not to fall. After that, a break of several seconds, only to come together again in combat. Wanderlei manages his legs wonderfully. His personal arsenal of strikes is hard to imagine without those magnificent knees. Kazushi's face is already bearing bloody damage. Sakuraba initiates a counter-attack in the midst of the bout. A couple of times, at different intervals, he manages to land hits on the Brazilian. But if you watch the match closely, you understand that the worst thing in a fight against the Sakuraba hunter is to get caught by him. Sakuraba throws a low kick that proves too costly for him. They counter-attack and two punches from Wanderlei Silva and the Japanese fighter's endless flight to the ground. It's 3-0 in their personal rivalry. The Axe Murderer had a whole series of fights against Rampage Jackson, legendary clashes, so let's evaluate one of them and observe the hunter in action. It's the Pride 28 tournament, where Wanderlei Silva defends his middleweight title. As you watch the start of the match, you realize how challenging it can be for the Brazilian since he is not inferior to Rampage in skills. They both deliver quality knee strikes in the clinch. A groan attack that Silva endures allows the fighters to break away from the clinch and resume fighting at a distance. Look at their attempts to combine strikes. Wanderley is clearly unlucky as his opponent defends himself so effectively. This fight easily qualifies as a championship encounter. Right, 
After three minutes of fighting, the chances of victory are completely equal, and it's bound to end with a knockout. The champion explodes more frequently, skillfully combining hooks and knee strikes to the body. However, an unexpected punch lands on Silva's head, and he falls to the ground. It's a very dangerous situation, but the fight is paused. Doctors examine Rampage Jackson as both fighters are already covered in blood. Both of them end up on the ground again, with the American fighter on top. He viciously strikes Crazy Dog all over his body, but he too has to endure blows. Neither of them is giving up, although the Brazilian has a desire to lock in Akimura. The fighters spend some time in grappling, so the referee separates them and issues yellow cards. The last two minutes of the round force them to engage in striking on their feet again. Silva is consistently more active in the stand-up, attacking more frequently, but he keeps encountering almost perfect defense from Rampage. However, while he defends his head skillfully, his body suffers. With just over a minute left, Luck smiles upon the resilient American once again. A successful punch knocks Wanderley off his feet, and he falls onto the ropes. It's fortunate that he remains conscious and able to continue because that could have been the end. Time is running out, and Quinton Jackson tries to finish his opponent, but Silva withstands it all. He endures absolutely everything. That's the champion's tenacity. Neither of them had full control over this round, which makes it even more intriguing to enter the second. They start aggressively, with energy still remaining. Groundwork ensues, and for the first time, the Brazilian champion finds himself on top. He seizes the opportunity to stand up without losing his advantage, and immediately initiates his trademark ground and pound destruction. Like a kamikaze, he attacks, risking it all. But stomps and soccer kicks find their target. The American rises to clinch and catches breath, giving his head a break from the relentless strikes. Time has passed, and both fighters are running low on energy, which affects their alertness. Jackson launches an attack but misses, causing him to retreat closer to the ropes. Wanderlei Silva senses the opportunity to finish it all and rushes in, unleashing high knee strikes to secure the victory. It's a knockout that remains before your eyes, even if you close them. We've just witnessed the fight of the year from 2004. It's justified to give it 110%. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the career of Wanderlei Silva and his knockouts. He has left a significant mark in the world of MMA, winning the hearts of fans and impressing his opponents. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share your impressions in the comments below. Your support is extremely important to us and motivates us to continue creating these exciting videos about the greatest legends of martial arts. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in future Sport Legends videos.